Should I do it again? Hello, everybody. It's me, Carmine Stefano, the Bookman. Pokemon Shield! I got Pokemon Sword going on right now, and Pokemon Shield going on at the same time. So, this is the other half, hey baby, uh, half of the two Pokemon games I'm playing at the same time. And I'm trying to figure out, because if this is a really long game, or these are long games, and what that means is doing one at a time is going to be kind of rough. I don't know, I don't really want to do four videos a day, I, I just can't. It's... I kept doing it for a while, and I just don't want to do that anymore. It's murder on Misa voice, as you can tell. So anyway, if you are only watching the Pokemon Shield series specifically, I am also playing Sword at this point, and basically I'm going to have to remember to repeat certain things that I've already said in the beginning. So repeat it at the beginning. So right now this is your introduction to the land that you're in and everything like that. It doesn't really seem to be as weird as it would be in the original Pokemon games where a professor, typically a beautiful woman which is always good before me, will come out and tell you where you are, about the Pokemon, your name's Rose, you're a guy, and they would tell you They'd send you on your way by letting you pick one of three Pokemon. Typically, a grass, fire, or water. And it's pretty much the same thing, except there's a little bit more introduction to it. Now, as I was also saying in the Pokemon Sword Let's Play, that... What the hell was I saying again? The Pokemon Sword Let's Play I was talking about... Oh, I don't even know anymore. Whatever. Probably not that important. We'll get to it anyway. Pokemon! Eh, eh, eh. So, now, just so you know, I've never played a Pokemon game before. Now I've been playing two pretty much four times, so... I know of them, I know what it's about, I've watched walkthroughs and speedruns of other Pokemon games, of every single Pokemon game that is a main Pokemon game, not the spin-offs, of which there were many. But Japanese love balls, Dragon Balls, Pokeballs, turn in your ball. And your best friend, who's also your rival, which is again another stalemate in all of the Pokemon. And this one is named Hop. Hey, Mama. What's up, blonde Mama? I don't know. Do a lot of English women wear overalls and boots like that? I don't know. Is that a thing there? I, one of the people that was working on this, and this is something you wouldn't get in Shield because I forgot to mention it, was a guy from England. He draws the Pokemon. They went to him because they were thinking about doing an English version of their Pokemon games. So, this is sort of Japanese version of England right here. This is Japan's England. Pokemon's England. Gala. I'm just checking shit. I don't know. Just checking shit out. You look like a Snorlax, but whatever. So, we are going to rename our main Pokemon, which I'm going to make the Score Bunny. But, I am not going to rename any of the other ones. Eevee! Okay, so I think that's the difference. Yeah, I think, okay, in Sword, you have a Pokemon, you have a Pokemon. You have a Pikachu doll and, a, and an Eevee poster. And in Shield, you have a, an Eevee doll and a Pikachu poster, I think. I know, no, I know that it's a Pikachu doll in Sword. I'm gonna try not to play this game or do this intro like I 
played through it already, just for everyone that's watching right now. I'm gonna try. But, you know, instincts and stuff. Alright, so, yeah, so, bag. We do have Pokeballs, which I did not realize. It says empty, but I guess we get them somehow. And we got a thousand yen, whatever that's called. Okay, so we also have the save feature, which I'm going to use now. Okay, and we also have the map feature, which it seems pretty straightforward. Wow, that's big. That's a big map. That is a very big... I mean, pretty much all the Pokemon maps are big. And then our options. We're going to give the options nothing because we're going to do the same thing that we were doing before, which is normal difficulty. I am not going to go for hard difficulty because I have never played a Pokemon game before. Although it seems pretty standard Jap Japanese JRPG, old-fashioned elemental type. And the, the concept is more or less duh. This thing rolls into the fence, and then he's like, oh yeah, that, that's taken care of. Okay, so... Hop is the kind of guy that seems like he would, at a urinal in the bathroom, have a pissing contest with you just because you were standing there. It's super amazing. It's super effective. Everything's super here in this pokey world. Pokey universe. Yep, gotta talk to the kid. Just basically telling you you can't go that way, even though the sheep will, or the wooloks, will let you know you can't go that way. Anyone lock their doors in this area? Guess it's England, man. It's England, man! Hey, mama. Yeah, where's that Lee guy? I don't know, he's a celebrity. Can he get a limo back home here? Hey, baby. So, we can go around his house. Talk to this freaky looking thing. Talk to his grandfather saying he's a superhero, which... I don't think so. A superhero! I can battle crime. Protect the innocent. Fight for world peace! Alright. Excuse me, Mom. Oh, right here. I was going to ask, how the hell do I get out of your house? But... Pretty obvious. Alrighty. So, let's go meet Leon. I'm gonna try not to rush through every bit of dialogue, but basically it's telling you not to go on the tall grass. I can translate it. Pokemon, eh, eh, eh. What do you like to play? If you try to go here, he tells you not to do that. You can't do that. Don't do that. Alright, so we're going to go straight. I'm going to try to capture as many Pokemon as humanly possible, but don't quote me on that, because the real dearth and girth of these games is the grinding. The grinding is the whole thing. Grind them out, get your Pokemon leveled up, that's what matters the most. Hey, baby. I mean, I'd say I'd ask for her number, but there, there's another one that looks just like her over there, so I don't know. I guess it comes down to their personalities. If every woman's gorgeous, then it's personality, obviously. Hey, Charizard, no one was talking to you. Heh, <laughs> hop. I mean, if you're English, like, those Cockney English types, the name Hop would just be Op. Ope. What's up, Ope? And this is just him recognizing who you are. Recognizing the skills. Alrighty, so back home we go. Like I said, we're gonna go with the fire base one. Here, fire. Because fire typically is the 
the easiest one to use. From what I've been told, anyway. I mean, the guy's a freaking superstar. He's got to run home to mama. Dude, seriously? How old are you? 18? Come on, man. Get a house. Go move out. And have limos take you back and forth. Pokemon training is not really all that lucrative, is it? It's showtime. Take a good look, you two. I've brought you monsters in a bowl. That's what we're going to pick this time. Which means that he's going to... They always pick the offsetting element. So that means he's going to go with the monkey or grookey. And the poor water sobble is going to just be hanging around doing nothing. So fire is effective against grass. Grass against water, water against fire. But there are other elements. There's like sand and crap like that. This is pretty much to illustrating that to you. Now the thing about Pokemon is that you can evolve them. And this one you can jack them up on Pokemon steroids. They get very big as was the case in the other thing. I'm supposed to get free crystals and I haven't gotten any. With my, my codes apparently are not legitimate codes from the frickin' box that I got these two things in. Whatever the case, I am going to pick Scored Bunny. No! No, not him. No. Oh. Sorry. You, come here. Yeah, why do you have a bandage on your nose? Why are you getting into fights already? What's wrong with you? All right, so Score Bunny, we're gonna call Score Bunny Book Book Wabbit, just because it's freaking hilarious. I know you're laughing at it right now. Book Wabbit, that is how I will refer to you from this day forward until the day you croak. A little bit of a fist pump. We've seen that picture a million times in the preliminary shots of this game or these games. Grookey. I just keep thinking Night Monkey. I don't know. So when we fight the Wulu thing over there, it's not going to be a big deal. But the... And then this little guy's kind of like, Hey, man. What the hell, man? Nobody want me? Oh, boy. There'll be some hell to pay when we fight him in the final tournament. That thing will be all monstrous and be like, you, you denied me. I shall evaporate you. Hey, thanks for the shish kebabs. The following day, a calamity had hit upon the land of Galar. Only the chosen one. All right, so, score bunny. I scored with a bunny. All right. So basically how this works is you capture Pokemon, you train them, you, you grind out like a mofo, and then you fight other Pokemon trainers. Have them run off to mama. And you know, it's basically just building up your individual Pokemon and then getting a team that really works out well. I mean, you want to make sure that you get all elements accounted for because each one has a weakness and a strength against. All you're going to do is just tell the thing to scratch my Pokemon. That's all you're going to do. Or headbutt it, whatever. Okay, so I've done this before. I've been in this position before. So we have the Wulu. And I have my score bunny, my book wabbit. Yeah, so he's got two. Typically, you only take one on one, but this game wants to be a little bit more forward thinking. All right, 
Score bunny. Uh, take it easy, all right? Book wabbit, you're gonna knock yourself out there. With all that jumping around. So I'll finish you off with a punch or a tackle. Looks more like a kick to me. Looks like Book Wabbit likes kicking. So we're going to get enough experience points to get to level 6 and get our first ability. So his speed defense. Or what is that special defense and special attack? Hit points up, attack up, defense up. And learned Ember. I ought to fetch a new Ember. You have a grass one. I'm going to kill your grass. So what you want to do here is you want to use your new special ability, which is I ought to fetch a new ember. This is just a fireball. It'll be super effective. See, look. It's super effective. Well, I do now. Thank you for pointing that out to me. Just in case I wasn't sure, big guy. We're going to do that again because I don't think a tackle is going to do that much to Mr. Grookey. It's super effective. And then they faint. Oh, Frankie. They don't die, as I was saying in the other one. There's no death here. Your trainers just have to start over. When you, if you lose all your Pokemon, you then have to have them revive. So, three darts is too much. So, you get them revived and everything. You, you don't actually die. I mean, it's game over if you lose all your Pokemon. So don't lose all your Pokemon or it's game over. All right. And now he's telling us about gyms and gym challenges and everything like that, which are all based on specific elements. But we're going to get into that later. Yeah, I'm thinking, since the first Pokemon, Pokemon on the Game Boy, the maps were pretty big then too. But I think there's more going on. And the Pokedex. You have to go to the Pokemon Lab. To the laboratory. You're a little arrogant, man. Alright, so... Yeah. Yeah, I heard that. That was pretty hard to miss. Maybe you should have leashed him instead of just said, all right, you're good. See you later. You're not headbutting things anymore. We've got to save it. Just go with yes here. This is not one of those intricate role-playing games where decisions you make affect the entire plateau. Oh, all right, where's he going to go? I want to tell my mom. That's not what this is about. This is just fighting Pokemon against Pokemon. That's all it is. It's creating a world where these things are making up new names and new designs and having you fight the hell out of them until you are the Pokemon champion. Saying no makes no difference. And since your character doesn't have a voice... I have to be careful with this guy, Book Wabbit, because I think this one's water-based. But it's level 2, so it really doesn't matter. If it says it's not that effective, then you know that you are grossly weak to them. Now, these battles are crap. They're not going to do anything for you. Two hits and the thing usually croaks, but because this character is a water-based character somehow, it's going to take Mr. Fire 3. So what happens to Pokemon that aren't captured? You know? Same music as always. That's the victory music. What are you smiling about? You made me come out here. Or you made Book Mama come out here. Now I think this character is a Rookie D. I think they are weak to... To fire. Let's take a look. To eat berries? What? 
the hell are you talking about? Oh yeah, it's super effective. No, okay, maybe not. It could just be that he's level seven and you're level two. Oh, I didn't want to do that again. My fault. I forgot it defaults to where you just selected. Okay. Because of the fog, you can't see the enemies. You can see the Pokemon in the grass. Here you can't. The same battles, same spots. No difference. Squavit. I don't have any... Yeah, they don't give me the option right now. Yeah, they don't. All right, never mind. Ember is effective against the Squavit. The female Squavit. Maybe it's because the female Squavit's a little bit taken by the manliness of my book wabbit. That's it's a male book wabbit, right? Yeah, male. Now well, let's see how effective this Ember is. I ought to fetch a new Ember. Well, actually, no. I did a good job last. No, that was another enemy. Don't show me your squirrel ass. Let's get in the habit of doing this. Growl just lowers the attack ability of the opposition. No, oh, Frankie. See, that female cannot take the manliness of Book Webbit. All right. Well, I was going to go and take care of this, but then you yelled at me, so... Madness! Yeah, maybe it was best if you didn't take her all the way out here, pal. She is really cute, though. If I were you, Hop, I'd want to have mirrors on my shoes. Okay, so this creature's different. Then in sword. The same effect, though. Nothing you do does any damage, it just fades like that. What do you like to play? Pokemon! Now you're concerned about her well-being? So you can't run. You're never gonna see me run. No, no, no. Well, thanks for dragging her out here, dumbass. We have to save that Wooloo. Yeah, well. What would happen to the Wooloo? They'd faint and then wake up the next day? What's up, Leon? Or Lee, if you will. You didn't look to your right before you asked that question? It's right there. He did well. He didn't do any good. He did nothing. There's another one of those RPGs where the main character doesn't say anything. Mm. 
Now then. We didn't have to watch the walk home. So we're gonna go back here and talk to Mum. Hi, Mum. No, Mom, I'm totally loaded right now. I love you, Mom. All right, let's go. Now it's time to embark on our quest for world domination. It's super amazing. You're very excited about simple stuff. Let's go over here. That is, yes, the Pokemon Research Lab. Now, let's go fight some squirrels. So now we can capture it. We have a fire, so let's get a water. What you want to do when you capture one, is you want to weaken them a lot. So... Let's pop an ember on you. I ought to fetch you new ember. Burn means that it's going to slowly burn them out. With every... Yeah, there you go. Let's see. So now I think I can just capture you. Should be all right. When they're around yellow and red, especially, you have a good chance of capturing them. One, two, bam, ours. All right. Squab it. Shove it. And we get all the experience points we need. So let's check this one out here, huh? Uh, no, not this guy. This guy's just gonna be hanging. that all right so let's see what the squad that's about I think eat berries all right whatever let me use And then I'm going to change up Oh, you're still burning and everything? Kind of blows. <laughs> All right, now let's use that that guy. Still burning though. Ouch! You only gotta hit this thing once. Maybe. All right, so your speed is better than, is higher than this guy's. Not very effective, actually. All right, you're, yeah, you're in a bad way. Put book wabbit back in. I could capture this bird, but I don't really think I want to. I'm just gonna tackle you. Or kick you, whatever we, whatever one works for you. Alright, so there you are. Right, okay, so level 8, 
Not bad. Quick attack. Quick attack isn't bad either. All right, so let's save here. Mystery gift, what's this? Oh, okay. Let's take a look at, you're still burning? Holy crap. I want to, let me see, let me take a look at your, what's your gig? Yeah, but I want to see what element you are. Just normal? I don't even know what that means. Alright. So let's save here. And when I return, we're going to continue with this. I'll see you then.